just another reminder with our huge graphic that July 30th yeah. is Chase the Bracelet. Yeah, sure. I will be playing. All those people's names on the screen will be playing. And it's going to be literally chasing the bracelet. Uh, it's going to be 12 games. Points will be accumulated. And hopefully I will be on the top of those point accumulations. And, I wish uh, you the best of luck, my friend. We get sent to uh, go to a event in Vegas. It's going to be great. Of your choice. My choice. Hard to beat that. So the pocket four is making a repeat of performance here. You're retard. Here's a shout out. What's up, bud? There, I gave him a shout out. That's awesome. I'm really happy for the person that got shouted. Yeah. He said, hey, give me a shout out and I'll follow. So I did it. Nice. Shout out for a sub would be a lot cooler. Yeah, it would be a lot cooler. <laughs> Who cares? There's going to be 10 bucks to go here. Live straddles. 35, 35. Oh, we're not shouting out for subs. I just happened to read somebody that said, hey, shout me out and I'll follow. So I shouted them out. Not because I wanted to follow, but because I'm a nice guy. That's right. But I already know what's going to happen. Everybody's going to be like, hey, shout me out. Hey, shout me out. Hey, guess what? Never. <laughs> it's ruined. That's up, guys. Oh, firewall. Pity. Dude, firewall's in the chat hall of fame right now. So John just got done heroing against Randy. Now he's in a spot against uh, against Chris here. With just the ace high. I feel like he's just like filling his oats now. There's the old fashioned check mark. Oh, Toshiba Drill Bink Baller. Just subbed. Thanks for that. Appreciate bud. the sub, man. We will be having Murder Rick emotes incoming. I like the sound of that. I do. It's a real good one too. Murder Rick is looking at the Looking at the screen like a psycho. It would be sick if we could get if we get enough subs to have eight emotes, one for each chase the bracelet contestant. That would be cool, but also boring. <laughs> <laughs> that means one of you. Yeah, I mean I can make one of me. I got so one one's not so boring, the rest of them are I already terrible. made a B Milgasm emote. Hopefully it wasn't accurate. I have emotes for days. Just need to get them in here. Wow, this is just like uh, Thomas the Tank Engine over here. Thomas the Tank. <laughs> just trying to figure out. Miss Spades. It's like World War II right now. Just a four. 
I mean, a few things missed. And he eventually kicks it in. Because I've already been a hero once today. I'm not going to do it twice. Tank, 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 tank. <laughs> what does Somerville say? He's high-fiving his friends around the table. That's what he calls. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> he's high-fiving he's high like the whole, the whole block. Wait, did sevens just fold? What just happened to that? I swear it said pocket sevens. 35. I just looked at the screen and it said pocket sevens. Okay. Alright, ladies and jelly worms, I am back. Couldn't have been right. Where did Ace Queen go? I saw Ace Queen. I'm telling you, there's things flashing. Things are happening. I saw Sevens fold. It was weird. Something was happening. I see chats debating on whether poker is strictly luck or if there's skill involved. <laughs> I can assure you that... How, how is that even an argument? It's clearly luck only. <laughs> I mean, obviously. That's why I'm so rich. I'm the luckiest guy around. Look how lucky Chris is getting tonight. There they are! Boom, kings are back. Mm, yes, it is back. I'm not completing the rest of that song. <laughs> what? what song? I know you're trying to bait me. And I, and <laughs> I was, was trying to bait you. It was so close. <laughs> I know that people at home got baited. <laughs> Masterfully. You get the, you get the, what? He didn't call Carl's 3-bet? How could he not call Carl's 3-bet? Wow. That is strong. He must have known. He just must I mean, Carl's 3-bet... Frequency is through the roof. <laughs> I don't think they could even calculate it fast enough to keep up with the amount of three bets. There's a hey shot of a uh, shot of us real quick. Hope stash? you guys are uh, enjoying Bobby's mustache. It's coming in real nice. It looks like a 
13 year old boy and finally yeah uh, we were having a good time love all the new uh new follows new subs uh appreciate it a ton uh, glad you're enjoying our show uh, like i said next thursday we'll be switching up a little bit to sit and go format i'll still be here but i'll be accompanied with suited dan exciting up, up, up. I got it. So that's me, Chase the Bracelet. Work. And then this is how I feel about things. Whenever whenever I'm watching poker, this is how I feel. Just like, what? <laughs> There's a shot of all of our players. You can see some of them. Missy, Rudy, Annette, Cliff, Ryan, Bobby, Chris. I think it's all of them. And Mike. I don't think Mike made the list. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're watching Mike, but you did not make the cut. You're here in spirit. So we got nines and eights on a five high flop. Like, someone was like, do you guys like action? I'm going to go ahead and kill it with an ace. They do call it the action killer. Check, check. Ooh, I think it was, wait. I can really, I can open the door back up just in case. It's like Randy's gonna value on himself a little bit here. Depends his question is how much. The reason he succeeds in college is because the best DB in college is the worst DB in the NFL. So when he scrambles around, does those things. Absolutely. The best DB in college is the worst DB. No, Randy puts ninety dollars. Something he would probably do with an ace. That's my, that's my point. Right. More than likely yeah, he would exactly. do with an ace, but I don't think he would check the turn when the ace hit. Ooh! Forget the value own. He gets it through. The worst hand. Yeah, you don't bounce off one hundred. Dude, I'm like so just. Exactly. Uh, Mike had the same one. The same. Yeah, kind of like what you said. The same thing. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Inability to read a play, so he had to scramble around. Well, that doesn't work. He's got a pumpkin patch. Family owned and operated. I know you're jealous, Toby. Yeah, yeah. Toby's always carving up them pumpkins. Randy and John. I'm just glad they didn't take him with the first. <laughs> Firewall is just drilling me, man. He's just getting me. <laughs> wow. That's what Firewall is for. I mean, he just comes in, just, just mashes. My heads up game is actually not that bad. You can ask Trevor. <laughs> That's true. You have you probably beat me more than I beat you. <laughs> well, you hit the right read, it's just I had the wrong. Queen nine, first couple eights. So I think eights are the new kings. Yeah. Are you, is your mic doing the thing? Okie dokie. Quickly checks the turn. Pete get a little bit of value out of his uh his pair here. <laughs> he bets five dollars again. <laughs> Getting them happy meals. The <laughs> five dollar bet. You know when he's racking up tonight and he goes, Oh, there's an extra five bucks that I did not have that I could have Easily you went check check, but no, he's he, He's getting uh getting max value out of his uh, pair of nines. Uh, show of hands in chat. How many people are here for the first time? Throw your kappa slash slash up. Let's see the kappa slash slash. Do what Bobby did. <laughs> Pete makes it 20. Matt calls behind. Carl and Chris let it go. 
I see some Kappas working, some Kappas not working. <laughs> some people are failed Kappas. <laughs> That they do not know how to emote. Uh oh, here we go. Properly. Got some action here. Pete was top two. Map the nut plus straw. Even if you guys are not first timers, I'm loving the spam. <laughs> Give me them kappas. Pete makes it 55. Now Matt, it's a, now Matt's a kappa dance. Matt's in decision 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 mode. So to raise or call. It used to be a heck of a card. Oh. Matt gains even more equity here. Yeah, now he's got a straight draw to yeah, go along with his nut flush draw. I mean, played baseball for 20 years. Makes a lot more money and you need to walk when you're Pete not slowing down. Double his flop bet from 55 to 110. Matt obliges. Just calls. Is this looking like too obvious that the Matt's on a flush draw? Um. I didn't watch the hand. I, honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I've been so it's just been it's just amused by the chat. It's just been bet call on all streets. Yeah, I mean typically there's like when there's a an obvious draw and somebody's just calling you the whole way down on such like a wet type of board, you know, and the turn brings. You would I just mean, think I, that. Oh my god, I thought for sure he's pulling the trigger. And boom. I thought for Basically. sure the trigger was. I thought. He thought about it. He was going through the motions. He I thought he was it. going like straight sawed off, like straight through Pete's gut. Somebody tell me you suck a dick? Because I'd rather not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope he's talking to somebody else. <laughs> It was. I'm about to get worked up. <laughs> <laughs> Our Zanbot actually spelled Akron wrong. I don't know how that happened. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm in no mood. I'll tell you that for sure. For sure. Man. Man, I really oh, I thought Matt. That's what it looked I, like he wanted to do something. He, he, he was thinking about it. He, he was like so, so close. He had his hand on the trigger, and he just, uh, he just yeah. wanted to pull it so bad. Safety and he just was didn't on though. So do you think, do you think, him and Pete play much together? Do you think that like Pete is ever checking a queen like, for the straight to induce? Mm. I mean, that's like, is it, does it get like levels on levels like that? It could get like that, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like more often than not, he's just gonna bet his hand. You know. Because it, it's you're... gonna go check check most of the time, especially like with an obvious draw. And, and, and I mean, if if that's kind of what he's repping by check calling all the way down, like why would you want to let him off the hook by just checking to him? You know. Like, is Pete ever just like check calling in the sense of like he's got a bluff catcher against busted straight draws or busted flush draws? I mean. I mean, hey, you're just trying to you're just trying to take this to another level. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> she took it to another level. People All right, I can't. <laughs> that's an old, uh, unforgivable reference. I don't. You guys will know it. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna complete that. I'm just all worked up now. People tell me to S and D's, and I'm just not. I'm not in the market. <laughs> so we got about 40 minutes left, and I want to see some pain. Get Carl stacked. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. Has Carl ever been belted? Like without like, I don't know. I don't know. The most amazing cooler ever. Day shift. Put the double on Carl. 
We should do mandatory straddles last hours. Yeah, absolutely. That ten dollar straddle. The optional twenty. Can we go uh, straddles? Oh, hold on, we gotta do that. Thirty. Oh. Are Yangle getting people hyped okay. in the chat? <laughs> 30. Those are 10. Renner's like, I got all them 10s. I don't think we want to introduce seven deuce right now. Um, if it's something we want to do earlier on, that'd be a good idea. But we got a couple guys that are stuck. They're gonna, I think they're going to try to get out of the hole. So I don't think it's going to become uh, a complete lockbox fest. Well, like we always thought, like for a while, that our our games would just die down, like when it got closer to the end. But lately, it's been the total opposite. Like things have been happening crazy by the end. So hopefully it's like that, and it seems like this game is capable of that happening. Like something's something's gonna go down. So I was watching a, another popular stream last night that uh, had a few known people playing. Their game also died the last hour. Like they were trying to do everything they could to mix it up, but it just happens. Sometimes you know you get tired. You've been playing for a while. Like none of these guys have really taken a break, which I don't really recommend. I always like to take a break every hour and twenty hour and thirty minutes or so. I think there's a three bet happened right there. Took it down. What's your smart wife too? She works for I mean, I think we could say it. It was poker night. Oh, everybody knows. Oh, everybody already guessed it. Did they? I it's not a bad thing. I, I don't mind. I mean, hey, we're all we're all a, a happy Twitch family. You know, they like their similar interests. We're playing poker. Oh, we're fans. There's nothing to. Uh, Nothing, no problems with that. We're fans of our other poker players, other poker shows. I mean, plus, Jay Carver's playing. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he's not he's, a fan of Jay Carver. He's everybody's dad, so. And oh, Pokey Girl's favorite, Esfandiari. He's a, he's a handsome gent. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Mav calls, starts the, the, the limping train. So we got five to the flop. Well, but you know what? RG3 was great until they, they were stupid and let them play in the playoffs with the injury and which wrecked them. He hasn't been the same since Randy pops three nines here. He had a lot of breaks that year. Carl still with the overpair. I, I definitely, I think. Uh, Carl Lee for 15. I mean, would the question is longevity? I mean, would he have lasted? Randy Flats. Probably not as much. Right. 10 for all the money? 10 for all the money. Please. Oh. Oh, now a 10 on the river. Please. Yeah, definitely a 10. <laughs> Please. This is the pain I'm looking for. Oh. Oh. What's happened? Stop it. I can't see. Stop it. Get out of here. Carl best 25. Randy's going to raise it up. And Carl quickly folds. Man. This is not sometimes basement. This is always in the penthouse. Oh, 
Where did he go to school? I'm trying to remember where he went. Wherever. He had one of the, the carts that you like carp people walk with whenever they get hurt. And he was rolling around after one of the I like the barfing man. Have you ever seen that video? No. Where he's just like he's spinning it's a good scene that is. rap video in the background of hilarious. Did he play for the U? It might have been. I think he played for Miami. Did he play for Miami? It might have. I think he did. But he's just a he's a dog. Hey, good. 9 10 for John. The 9 10 Sudi makes it 20. Matt makes it 50. John's not folding. Another small 3 bet. Thank you. He does have the position. <laughs> I don't think Chris called. Is that real? Uh, I guess we'll find out when the camera goes soon. No. Oh, that was so disgusting. That was so horrible. So it looks like Matt won more than he really did there. Pete's, yeah. Pete's bringing the guns back out. He's actually talking, too. Usually he doesn't talk a whole lot at the table, so it's nice that he's... Well, he's in his normal realm now, you know? He's socializing. It's, one, it's, it's like the 2-5-plus the game, you know? There was blood shooting out. Oh, Apparently, if you bring up sports, yeah. Pete's all about it. Oh, did you see Anderson? Did you see Anderson? Oh, oh. Anderson Silva? Oh. I'm talking about that UFC. That was pretty good, too. It didn't come out of oh. the ball, but it was pretty, it was pretty brutal. Dude, Firewall, you are like the all-star <laughs> in the chat, man. No joke. This takes me a while to read your entire post there. Oh, is that Poker Staples? But he's still rolling and all that's rolling on is the stock. As he's rolling around. What's up, Jamie? Uh, Thanks for hanging out. Uh, it was yeah. one of them, uh, Thanks for tuning in. Was a defensive lineman against San Francisco and Cincinnati. Yeah. 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 That was that was so hyped for the fight, and then he just snapped his leg in half. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you serious? That was just as bad as like the Manny Pacquiao fight. Like, you get all that money, and then you get to see it like 30 seconds later. Point. John makes a 20 with his A6 suited. Matt comes along. Chris has that look like, oh, I'm going to squeeze. Nope, just going to fold. We are heads up. Hey, John. Hey, John. <laughs> hey, John. Hey, hey, John. Hey, hey John. John. Do you like that? How do you feel about that flop, John? <laughs> Anybody get their money on the Spurs before Tim Duffy came back and they got orders and they were 13 or 14? Poker Pete asked if anybody had their money on Carl. <laughs> Ew. All right. Check, check. And then talk about a, a crappy board run out. Forty's just not big enough, though. I feel like Staples uh, accidentally came into our room. <laughs> but hey, he said, what's up, none of us, so yeah. hi. So John flops a straight. John flops a straight, turns a flush, and uh, doesn't get a ton out of it, but gets a little bit of uh, a river nugget out of Matt. Dude, Delhi was like the hottest jersey in the country for like two days. For two days. I hope he doesn't even play a minute next year. He's so bad. Hopefully, they don't lose. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they will. But they got one. Can I play Z? Yeah, I'll play Z. Yeah. 
Uh, Mo, five years ago. Point. Oh, no, Mo, Mo made, uh, I, Chris, I like, I like, obviously, you know, Chris is a solid player, but I really like his game. You know, he plays a fairly snug style, but he doesn't stop himself from opening one full to two in the cutoff with an 8-9 suit, or 8-9 offsuit. Yeah, because he understands position. And he also understands when stacks are deep. I kinda, he can raise fives from under the gun, and he can do that all day. I like Randy's game as well. Uh-oh. Are we having fun? Are we going to have a little fun here? One six <laughs> So Chris makes it uh, makes it 20. Randy re raises the 65. Now Chris re pops to 165. Randy's going to be out of position with two jacks. Does he put in the fourth? Or fifth, rather. Richard Jefferson? Yeah, fifth bet. Yeah. Randy decides it's just to call. Heads up. This could get interesting. Randy checks over to the razor. Serenity's hand looks a lot like Ace King, Ace Queen. So Chris, at this point, possibly thinks that he no, has outflopped Randy. He's probably, he's Randy could define the strength of his hand right now. Wow. Are you putting in like a. Decent half a almost grabbed that whole stacks of black. Stacks of black? He likes stacks of black. Did I see a little quiver in the fingers? No. No? I don't think so. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. Literally, is a moment of truth. Can Chris fire another shell here? I wonder if Randy gave up anything, anything physical on the ace field. Yeah, I got no problem with that. Or is Randy thinking? Randy already checked? All right, Randy already checked. All in. All in. Wow. Holy moly. He's the man. He's so good. I mean, obviously, Chris is not all in. He's effectively putting Randy's 787 all in. Which seems, eh, he might have that much. Four, five, six. Yeah, he might have that much. This is what would you say? Moment of truth? It's the moment of truth. And I mean I, I think he's gonna I mean, he's gonna win this. It's it's so hard for Randy here. I mean he doesn't wanna believe, but it's like now you're at this you're just in the cage. He's caged up. He hasn't folded yet though. Oh, he's tap, got that tap. fold. He's got the fold on. He's so it looks like he. I mean, I'm not gonna call it angle because earlier on he he grabbed his chips, kind of pump fake to see if uh, to see if Pete would react. This time he picked up his cards like he's gonna fold. We can hear him talking. He's talking about. See if he runs through it a little bit. He folded. If I was Chris, I'd say pick one. Show it. Show it. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. He must have. He, I, he must have flipped it over. Nice hand for Chris. He's so close, he says. Don't let your dreams be folds. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> nice hand by Chris. He could have legit made his dreams come true. I kind of miss when Pete was stuck like a million dollars. He was a lot yeah. more fun to watch then. Yeah, what happened? 
Start talking about Carl and the Spurs. B makes it 20. I think him and Matt have been playing a lot of pots together. Don't you love raising a queen 10 early position and just flopping a queen and just like, all right. And then you just see bet and they fold. Just give me the money. That's probably my favorite when I just raise and see bet and they fold. I like that. I like doing that over and over. <laughs> Until you have all the money. That's why I have it all. A.A. Ron still hanging out. Three and a half hours running. Yeah, there's a lot of people in here that have stayed. I like it. Uh, we're actually right next to the restroom, so yes, I can hear it. It's official. I made it look like I messed up. When I Randy up. is losing his lunch. No small blind. We got a, you want to you want to in? I got a Oh man. Yeah, I can get Sons of Anarchy. Oh, rip, rip, yeah. Jax. That was the ghost of Opie. <laughs> rip, Opie. Did you know that one of your friends on Facebook spoiled that for me and I was so mad? Really? One of my friends? Mm -hmm. yes. And you wrote on your page about, about Opie being dead and I was like, <sighs> Stop it. Sorry about that. I should have a, a spoiler warning on my Facebook. Let me go live, bro. Um, we are good. Yeah. I did. Wow. 90. Ninety dollars. Renner makes it thirty. I feel like uh, I feel like Mav hasn't even played a hand in like so long. So I feel like I haven't seen him. Like, he booked it. it. He booked a win. That's it. He doubled up and he booked it. it. <laughs> Straddles on. Must be Matt Straddle. Uh oh, the all one dollar chip straddle. That's that's fierce. Thirty. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to uh, follow us on Twitter at Poker on Air. That's a great way to stay current with all of our comings and goings on our site, and on our show. Uh, once Jason Bracelet gets going, I'm sure we'll be posting updates, chip leads, all that kind of good stuff. You can also follow myself at t.1512 or bmillion at bmillion315. I don't do anything interesting on there, but the more followers I get, the more stuff I'll do. That is true. But for right now, I just kind of post things here and there, and they're right, funny. Yeah, right now I'm just a chronic retweeter and favoriter. Favoriter. <laughs> so you're basically a lurker. That's what they call you. You're, you you lurk. Capital L. Yeah. Straight lurking. Andy, Andy, you. The rest of the letters are lowercase. <laughs> It's all right. There's no, there's no shame in lurking, you know. You get info. I lurk on Reddit. I do not use Reddit to its full potential. I'll tell you that right now. I just get on there and I just look at stuff and I click things. I would say John made it a, an amount, and then Matt called that amount. <laughs> it looks like a limp. I mean, twelve dollars. No, that's not that's right. Can't be right. It's not. Because there's no way he's betting like twenty-five dollars into twelve dollars. I so. think it was thirty. Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys. Rip John Snow. 
Uh, the amount of hair gel I use per day, um, honestly, if I'm not on air, <laughs> I usually don't do anything. But when I'm on air, it's like it's like three fourths of a quart I Ooh. put on there. Ooh, ask me the same question. Ask me. If you guys are wondering uh, how much B Million uses, he'll answer right I now. I, I use zero. I don't, don't use any. No gel. No. Nope, That's nothing. natural. Yeah. Just a natural, uh, natural hairdo for you. Well, I cut my hair off, and I'm letting it grow back. Yep. So, hey. Pretty soon, I'm going to have a murder Rick haircut. 15. If you guys don't know, it's like a mohawk. Might as well. All right, guys, about 20 more minutes left in the show. Call. Pete with fours. Hey. Renner with queen jack. Yeah, it's 15 by Renner. Pete called. Matt, three best to 50. Renner calls. Pete calls. Three players. At this rate, Renner or Matt does not want to make a pair of tens, obviously. Well, five. That's how you bet right there. This should get through unless Trevor decides to get ultra sticky. Matt just got bored. He's like, you know what? Well, this is kind of what I expected this. all along. Like in our last game he played, he really mixed it up a ton. Perhaps he's a little worried about Chris on his left. You guys all know each other to an extent. Know their styles by now. Bob, you think you want to go to Australia? Do this over in Australia? Uh, absolutely. Do some surfing? Of course. Hop into some kangaroos pouch. You know what that's slang for over there, right? Hopping in a kangaroo's pouch. <laughs> Pretty much that's what it means. The dingo ate your baby. <laughs> Cranky. I don't even know. I don't know Australian. That's not a knife. <laughs> well, that's, not a, uh, that's terrible. I'm going to stop right now before the D-Base officially quits watching us. Matt with the flush draw. Carl with a gut shot. And Matt wins it. I would love, love to go, Austra go to Australia. It's one of them places, you know? It is. Got to get there sometime. It is. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm still laughing. <laughs> Time to go, lobster <laughs> Jerry still has got the fever. Time to go. <laughs> I feel like if we ever have a night where... Uh, one of us can't make it to commentate, we'll just fly in firewall and all will be fine. Sorry, dude. Man, <laughs> someone taped for B million in the chat today. I don't know. There's some kingers. The kings are back. Guess who's back? <laughs> I think you should just sing it at this point. No, man. I just want to put it in people's minds. Later on, they're going to be like, they're going to sing that song by accident. Just. It's in their subconscious, and they're, and they're going to be like, where did that come from? Oh, yeah. The Kings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got ourselves an old-fashioned pissing battle. It would be... Who's got the biggest D? And by D, I'm talking about donation. Where are you guys at? 
dare him. Runner's not super deep anymore. I Mav's mean, gonna put the screws to him though. It's weird, like Mav was just kinda like locking it up and then all of a sudden he just decides to just get kings. Just do it. He's like, you know what, the fifteen minutes left? What's that? Is he is he no? Oh, pump fake. Another pump we've had so many pump fakes and I was like, you know what? I just wanna just I wanna get all the monies. You know, I I wasn't satisfied with three K. I want four K. Well, at this point, Renner has no fold equity. Yeah, I mean, he has to just get rid of it. It's like, look. All right, I'm trying. Mav was like, guess who's back? <laughs> Man. I think Mav's had kings at least at least three times tonight. At least. You hear the table just... Not. They are not talking any bit of ish to Mav. They're always like, knock, knock, nice hand. Well played. <laughs> But he wouldn't give you five for that. Oh, right. gave me five to one. Straddle with a ring, play for twenty. <laughs> I think I said. I know he said. Right. Playing for a hundred. like, well, just because I lost the last hand is not going to slow me down here. Pete made it 20. Obviously, Matt called behind. Renner squeezed it up to a hundo, takes it down. why I don't use Twitter. Every time I check it, some random person likes something and it's like has nothing to do with us. It's like some advertisement. What are you talking about? See, like I get things, these tweets where it's like, I'm a model, I'm a dancer, contact me. Like, that's not, that's not, not, a, that's not Pokey Girl? No. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Tell us what you want. It took a while to get the cards in the middle. Point. <laughs> Couple threes for Chris. Brandy. No, <laughs> Brandy's like, I've had enough of you, Chris. You're under the gun, and you pulled it out fast. I'm not sure any of the viewers really. And there's the chip right counts. <laughs> Mav, the big winner today, followed up by Chris. Then other players. Then other players below. In uh, order less from money. Um, highest to lowest profits. Uh, yep. Maybe not profits, but hey, somebody take a screenshot of that. I'm sure everyone did. John gets there with the old king eight. Poker Pete does have runner's options. Diamond. He looks like he just got done running. It's not a bad turn. Gives it helps. him a little extra. A little extra. Uh oh. This is weird. Why would a king check turn? He's going to find out.
because Evan is six slow roll. He's like Evan nine. And a three. <laughs> I didn't want to raise you. Speaking of slower, did you happen to catch Nana Noku uh, slow roll that? Antonio? The Noko? Yeah. Yeah, Randy Liu. Yeah, that was hysterical. That was nice. I got the heart. Oh, <laughs> wait. No, I got trip sixes. <laughs> but I also got there. Yeah, he had both. It was nice. He shows the deuce of hearts, and, and uh, Tony rolls over his ace deuce. I think he might be good. Sight. Kind of go live. Kind of bummed that the straddling thing did not really catch on. Yeah, I know. Like you would think, with how deep the game is, that the straddling would have been like a thing. People oh, splashing around a little bit now. Pete looking for the lone deuce in the deck. Check. Nice flop for Matt. Randy blasting with the uh, second pair here. So it kind of seems like Matt's MO is he just kind of likes to uh, check call with the flush draws. Yeah. Just open him up to uh, make some moves possibly on later streets. King Spade or Club? Yeah, Spade. So Matt didn't take the line earlier against Pete where he could have bluffed River. Here's a spot where he's got a chance to maybe move Randy off his hand. But Randy did get shown a pretty serious bluff earlier, so he might be less apt to fold now. I mean, who likes to get bluffed? It's got to be big. It's got to be big. That doesn't look too big. 175, not terrible. Uh, it's not terrible, yeah. It looks kind of within the flow of like how a hand might go. Does he have like some sort of king high flush draw? Makes a pair into river? Because uh, there's no real reason why a nine would bet the river now. Ooh, hard to swallow by Randy. And it also kind of goes to like the psyche of the situation. Uh, how he, how he folded to Chris and he was like oh and I Chris showed him and now he's like oh do I really want that to happen again this is almost the end gotta see it I don't think there's any chance he's cold oh. boom nice call by Randy there get caught Matt <laughs> Get caught. Everybody spam the wrecked emote. Wrecked hard. Okay, sorry, it might have been a, a little, uh, four minutes. I might have jumped the gun a little bit because you guys haven't even seen it yet. You're delayed. Your stream's like way delayed. Just not that far behind. Oh. Wow. D base just <laughs> coming hard. It doesn't like me or Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Randy! Matt getting mixed up again here. This time with Pete. 
think Matt had the strategy of if Pete's in, I'm in. And that may be why he's stuck. Very well. Very well could be. I didn't realize Matt was down that much. Did he, I mean, he just maybe just recently. I thought for there for a while he just kind of went in like some small pots, just kind of like doing kind of hanging thing. around. Is Carl even sitting at his seat? Oh, there he is. Statue mode. He's back. Couple of JJs for Chris. I feel like 50% of Chris's raises have been entered again. Matt's in official splishy splashy mode. And do you believe a check fold is in order? Chris was just lounging on that one. I just heard a rumor that this might be the last hand. That doesn't sound very convincing. Up to 20 on the straddle. Uh oh, 20 on the straddle on the last hand? Do this I sounds hear, amazing. Do I hear 40? Do I, yeah, do I hear 40? And Mav 20. Mav 20. Come on, Randy. Randy, oh, it's too late. Don't be what D Base said. It's too late. Yeah. Come on. D Base, sir. There's so much dead money in there. Somebody better be licking their chops. Chop liquors. I don't think there's any surprise that Matt was raising here. Matt cannot fold. Like there's like zero folds in his range. And rumor has it that there's one more hand after this, actually. So well, somebody's so going to get a chance. So hopefully we'll get some like real six straddles going again. Yeah, hopefully it's like straddle, double straddle. He's like, look, dude. Six, seven. Rouse. All right. Are. So this is confirmed. Confirmed last hand. Half-life yeah. three. Confirmed. So Randy has the option to straddle now. Come on, Randy. Multiple straddles. Let's go. Let's get around the table. Let's just do like 100 bucks free. Now Randy's like, see, this is why I didn't straddle. See? Exactly. This, yeah, is always, results. this is what happens every time I double straddle. I get six freaking four. <laughs> Pete, knit. Matt better play this hand. I mean, how can you not? That was the weakest fold Carl's had all day. <laughs> he barely got it out of his hand. And, I mean, you would think he's usually, like, super good at it. A lot of practice. Sick. Again, I don't know how Mav finds a fold ever there. What did he have? I didn't see. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. It's last hand. You have all the money. He's already tipping the waitress. King, King, three? King, One King, time? Three? One time? Then a three, then a three. Ten king three? 
That's all the that's all the marbles of pain. Did you grab me one of those too? Yeah, thank you. You don't don't forget we're still on camera. <laughs> don't forget we're still on camera. <laughs> oh never mind. <laughs> I haven't had a, I haven't had a Make single, sure you make a cute face before I, <laughs> I haven't had a single Paul burn all day. Now we're playing. Really guys? Last hand, now we're getting Last hand, now, now we're, we're getting, getting nasty. meta. Oh, that'll yeah, right. Renner's all never leaving. Yeah. Yep, all in. <laughs> and you just lost a quick hundred at the end there. <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to do it for our last Rubber City cash game for the foreseeable future. Uh, another quick reminder, next Thursday, 7 o'clock, same station, we'll be doing our Chase the Bracelet series. With this guy over here. I'll be playing. He'll be playing. I'll be on the table. He'll be ready to uh, take down the crown of Chase the Bracelet winner. But yeah, tune in next Thursday, 7 yeah. o'clock. Sit and go yeah. format. We're going to be here 12 straight weeks. Actually, 13 straight weeks because we're going to have a wild card game at the end. We'll explain all that later on. But uh, thanks for all the new followers tonight, all the new viewers. Everyone had chimed in in the chat. Uh, you guys are awesome as always. But until next Thursday, guys, have a good night. Bye. If you and your friends would like to play at the Poker On Air Penthouse Studio and have your game broadcast to the world, just give us a call. Your friends or Lee can rent our studio and play on our brand new custom built RFID poker table while we capture all the fun and action using seven high definition cameras and our live stream studio switcher. Play live while our commentators call all the action and bring your game to life. So if it's your league's final game of the season, or you and some friends just want to have fun, the Poker On Air studio is available to you. We can even take our show on the road and broadcast live from your event or casino. The graphics and sponsors on this custom traveling table can be changed to meet the needs of your event. Even better, if you would like a custom RFID table built for you or your venue, or would like to become a Poker On Air Broadcast City franchise, we can help you with that request as well. For more information, just give us a call at the number on your screen or email us at producer at pokeronair.com. Poker On Air, let's deal you in.